New Zealand at half time. It's 2 2. Uh, Dean Saunders is here, the former Liverpool and Wales striker. Dean, if, if Wales start this game as they have done here next week against the Czech Republic, will we see a rather different situation, do you think? Well, I mean, it's a typical example of uh, underestimating the team today. They've not come out of the traps, defended really sloppy early on, and to give two goals away to a team like this, John Toshek will be boiling in there. Do you think they've been on the holidays a little bit in that first half? Well, I think Gabidon's not played for a while. Collins, they've not played together for months. Um, you've got two young full-backs playing there. The, the right-back's making his debut, and the, the defending was just poor, really. I, you know, I can't, I can't make any excuses. And, you know, the big centre-forward's got two goals there, but he's just lift him after he's been released by Halifax. Well, let's have a look at the first goal. And it really does seem to catch Wales cold. Yeah, well, the little number eight who's been quite lively all afternoon, James, who's at Fulham, he gets... This, he gets in there too easy. Now you've got to stop that cross coming in. It's a flick from Danny Collins. And there weren't enough people prepared to die and throw themselves in front of that. That, that shot should have been blocked as well. But uh, that's how teams get knocked out of the FA Cup, things like this. And this is the first real show of class, I suppose, from Wales. And, and Ryan Giggs getting forward yeah, for the Ryan, first time. Ryan Giggs picking Bellamy out there. A poor defending from the centre-back. If you just watch, he's just ball-watching, standing on the six-yard line. And Craig's took up a great position. That's where all the goals are in the middle of the goals, and um, finished it well. So we expected really Wales to go on from that, having got themselves back in the game. Then it's Shane Smeltz yet again, puts New Zealand back in front. Well, it's, I mean, it, it, totally uncoordinated in defending, and the, the the cross has come in from a free kick. It gets cleared here, edited out by Collins, I think, and then half the back four run out, half run the other way. Ricketts has got a little bit out muscle, but you've got to give the centre forward a bit of credit. He's he's, fini he's finished it and really what you've well. You've seen of him. As you said, he was released by Halifax. This is the kind of player that someone could take up. Well, if you depend like that against anybody, will score against you. I mean, he's, he's a simple header. Um, and here's Craig Bellamy for two-two, Dean. Now here he decides to take it on himself. Would you like to see him do this more often? Well, I've been in with Craig. The, the, it's like a training ground goal for him. This is what you do in training: eight v eight get half a yard and whack and that's what he's done and anything can happen if you don't shoot you don't score it's got a deflection, Big deflection but, but is it going in anyway? I think it's going in the far corner but he is good at that he gets you stopped dead and once he pushes it you can't live with him we talked about the week that he's had before the game the fact that he, he wasn't picked for the Champions League match he might be on his way out to Liverpool how much good will this be doing him do you think? Oh, great for his confidence. I've seen him, he's having a moan up at everybody as well, which is, which is typical Craig. But uh, to get two goals at international level is good for anybody. So after the week he's had, I think he'll be pleased going in there. But he didn't look like when he was walking down the tunnel, he was having a moan at Danny Coyne, I think, the goalkeeper. <laughs> I don't know what he's done wrong. Plenty of goals in that first half. We hope for more in the second as well. And so do the fans who've turned out here at the race course ground. Pretty cold afternoon. It's been raining as well. But hopefully...